Are you going to start? Okay. So we'll be looking at the, uh, the hip pelvic girdle. We'll be specifically looking at the ilium. So just follow along with your lab manual. So we'll start off. Um, first of all, to tell if it's a right or left uh, um, pelvic girdle. Um, first of all, you try to you determine um, which your iliac fossa. Your iliac fossa tends to be anterior. So once you determine that, then look at your acetabulum. Your acetabulum faces lateral. Um, once you again both of those determine, then maneuver it around, put it on your hip, and then you can determine if it's a right or left. So in this case, it's a right pelvic girdle. So first structure we'll be looking at is your iliac crest. So the iliac crest is the top portion of your ilium. So you can follow along the crest. And if you keep following along this crest, we'll eventually reach the ASIS, which is anterior superior iliac spine. If you follow downwards, right there, we have the anterior inferior iliac spine, so AIIS. If I go inwards, here you're actually, you're your, um, this is your anterior, anterior fossa, your iliac fossa. And you go a bit outwards, right there is your iliac tuberosity. Nope. This? Yeah, that's your Yeah, that's your iliac tuberosity. This is your iliac tuberosity. Um, then your auricular surface is more of the smooth edge. So the iliac... Um, so your auricular surface articulates with the sacrum. So as you see, you see the sacrum is right there. So your surface is right there. Therefore, in this image, it's in this model, it's right there. Um, next structure we'll be looking at is the greater sciatic notch. That's pretty intuitive to look at, but it's this little indent into the ilium. So follow my probe and that is your greater sciatic notch. Um, next is your arcuate line or your iliopectineal line. So that starts from actually the auricular surface or the, yeah, the auricular surface or the articular surface and it goes along this right there. So imagine, make, put yourself in an imaginary line and that is your arcuate line. Now the final structure we'll look at, so we'll look more posterior. Um, so this again is your gluteal fossa. And now just imagine there's three, imagine the three imaginary lines uh, of the structure. So we'll start with your anterior gluteal lines. Actually, sorry, we'll start with your posterior gluteal lines, which starts right, if you follow my probe, that is your posterior gluteal lines. If you head a bit downwards, I'll, you can't tell from this model, but then your anterior gluteal lines will be along here. Um... And the last is your inferior gluteal line, which is around the like imaginary line. Just imagine it's like around this area. Um, and then finally, we'll end with the um, your PSIS and your PIIS. So your PIS, you look not posterior, so be a bit more intuitive this way. Like that. So your posterior PIS will be obviously on the left side. So start there. That's your posterior um, with the posterior superior iliac spine and then same thing like as the AIS, AIIS you just head inferior and then that will be your posterior inferior iliac spine and that covers the ilium portion of the pelvic pelvic